Hello again, gang. This is the Black Knight here performing the Morton glitch again. Morton glitch is best glitch because silt beans. I've discovered something else about it, by the way. I've discovered that you need Porter Gage to make it happen, which is a big thing. I brought Strong to this location. Did not work. Yes, it was an interesting thing. Went back, got Porter Gage. No problem. There's all the silk beans. There's all the, the taters and the mentats and the whole nine yards, the safes. You can redo the safes. And what you see here is me trying to unlock as many safes as I can and get as many likes from Porter Gage. Because at the time when I was actually doing this, I really wanted to use Strong for uh, the Safari Zone. And I ended up uh, doing that. But that's a, a future video. I have a couple videos already done. I took uh, I took Porter Gage through and we did the Hobologist quest, so that's going to be coming up. Uh, and that's where I actually maxed him out on likes. And then we went into and uh, went into the Safari Zone with Strong instead of uh, Porter Gage. And let me tell you, that's not a bad plan, and it's also not a good plan because on the plus side, Strong really does womp the ever living heck out of those uh, alligator creatures thing there, the, the gator claws. On the downside, every time you unlock something, he gets like, he gives you a dislike. So you have to keep things simple with Strong. It's it's a problem. Uh, I'm planning on just uh, maxing out his uh, his affection, as it were, uh, doing robot quests. But we'll, we'll see how that goes later on. So what you're watching here is me, and again, initially just trying to get as many likes out of him as I can while, again, uh, exploiting this glitch and getting as many silt beans and potatoes and all the other kind of stuff as I can. Again, primarily because I had a certain way I want to progress forward. And some of that is based on the fact that I will inevitably betray Gage because I'm not going to turn on the Commonwealth, you know, as I am the general of the Minutemen, and uh, destroy all the settlements which I have built up. And quite frankly, I'd really have to go in and take down all the defenses first because there's no way I'm going to outgun uh, the stuff I have built up. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Don't forget, I've used a lot. Of, I've used that other glitch, nice. the uh, drop the weapons and then store them in the workshop glitch to reduce my settlement sizes and then build them up to ridiculous levels. So there's there's no way I could even pull this off, even if I wanted to be evil. But I don't want to be evil. I'm really not about the evil playthrough. So I'm eventually going to do the good guy playthrough. And sadly, uh, Gage, there's no way of keeping Gage with that playthrough, which is kind of odd because he sides with all the raiders and all of the raiders, all the raider gangs, the three raider gangs are pretty unanimous in this, think he's an idiot. They have no use for Porter Gage. It's amazing that they go along with anything that he does. They have a lot of criticism for him and, you know, they would either kill him if they could. Or do worse than killing you if they could. That's what the disciples talk about. I don't know what they have planned. I don't know what I don't want to know what they have planned. The disciples are a gang that are are not nice. They're just real. I'm not going to go into it because the details would disturb you. So what you end up with is you end up with a, a speech from from Porter Gage where he talks about he, you're the first person he's trusted in uh, like his entire life, or at least in a long time. And uh, the last time that he trusted anyone, he was double-crossed. And they're setting you up to be that guy. They, they want you to be the bad guy who double-crosses Gage. But that's the only way you can be the good guy is to be the bad guy, which is an interesting thing that they're doing. But I think it would, you know, I, I think it would be nice if there was some way of pulling him over to the light side. But on the other hand, I thought about that and I thought, wait a minute, he's... He's espousing all this friendship with me, and I have zero temptation to go to his side. So why would he jump, you know, jump ship and become something other than a raider that he's been his whole life? You know, I'm if I'm not a raider, if I'm against the raiders, then he's going to be against me. So I guess it does make sense after a sense, you know. But um, it, it's interesting that you can't convince him to be anything. He, he'd rather be with raiders that hate him than with someone he considers a friend. So that's, you know, he'll, you he'll try, sure he tries to kill you no matter what you do. The instant that. you go down the path of, uh, of, you know, and spoiler alert, that's one of the options on this. I'm pretty sure by this point in the game, you know that there's a good guy, a good guy ending and a bad guy ending. So if you go the good guy ending, and I won't go into too many details, you lose Porter Gage. So that means I'm going to lose all of these silt beans and mentats and all that kind of wonderful stuff. So... Um, there might be a gap after Safari Land, uh, the Safari Land video. I've got a couple of games. I've got a Havologist video and a Safari Land video coming up. Um, 
I'm wondering, are, do you guys care about these videos? I mean, do I should I go through God. Dry Gulch and through the bottle cap place, or should I just, you know, one option for me here, if I want to keep Gage as a possibility, is just not complete the quests. I can leave that hang out there. I have an unlimited supply of silk beans and uh, and potatoes and mentats. I can always come back out here yes. and let it hang. It's not like... It's not like Fallout puts a limitation on you. And this where it says, "Well, you failed the quest because you didn't complete." The, not on these main quests. I don't. They, they, some of the side quests still put, be a time run, but I don't think there's a, an issue with just hanging, uh, hanging Nuka World out to dry here for a little while. You can still be working through it. So, I mean, in theory, I could just go back to you know building up settlements and living a normal life. Leave Gage in Nuka World. And just you know, pick him up as uh, as I need him to go get stuff from uh, from the Morton residence there. I mean, I can do that. And if there's no real interest in seeing the dry gulch break down, dry gulch. Did I say dry gulch? I think I completely messed that up. But unless if there's no interest in seeing the dry gulch breakdown, or the you know going through the bottle cap factory, I was probably going to give the bottle cap factory to uh, the operators. Give dry gulps to the pack, let the disciples get mad at me and shoot them first. You know, that kind of thing. Um, there's there's all kinds of different ways this could break down. Uh, again, there's a lot of things I can do here. In theory, I could go through them all and not plant the flag, I guess. But, I mean, what? then it's just more work going back, trying to find the flag. You know, it's... So I don't know, is it is it worth it for me to move on to other games at this point? Because I do have a couple follow-ups here, but I don't know. I don't know how much traction I'm even getting, ladies and gentlemen, here. I, I do want to I do want to milk this glitch for a little while. I think there might be a, I'm planning a break, is what I'm saying. But if you guys, if there's anybody out there who would think, no, no, please forge ahead with dry gulch and with the bottle cap factory, then hey, then I can move, I'll move forward if it if it's something that people really are waiting on. You know, I've been waiting on this for the whole time. I don't know that there's that much interest right now. So I'm going to eventually get to it, and I will post it when I get to it. But I might try and then mix things up again a little bit. I'm getting pulled back into GTA V because they have a couple special things going on over there. But um, they just keep pulling me back in. It's mind control, I tell you. Mind control. But... um. But I still, I still want to get back into freelancer. Still get, want to get back into TF2. Want to get some new games, and I'm not sure that the hours. It's going to take hours to grind through these sections, um, of grinding through these sections of Dry Gulch and the Bottle Cap Factory are worth it. Um, if you guys aren't into it right now, and if I could just keep using a Porter as a companion indefinitely and use him to milk this glitch. So, I don't know. We'll see how it shakes out, I guess. So, yeah, comment in the descriptions if you have an opinion on what I should be doing here with, uh, with this. Whether you guys mind if I take a break for a little while. Is really anyone going, oh, he's not doing... He's not doing the dry gulch. So I was Got waiting it. for the dry gulch. The dry gulch is the one I've been waiting to see. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that there's that much interest. So, you know, comment in the description if you have an interest. Other than that, um, this is your Black Knight, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night. Okay, so I guess, I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing.